Hi family and welcome back to Nancy's Cuisine. Hope you all are doing amazing. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much. If you've not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit on that subscribe button and turn on your notification bells so that anytime I post a video, you will be the first to know. So today fam, we're going to be doing this juicy red snapper fish. Let's get right into the recipe. So fam, the first thing you want to do is to use a very sharp knife to make some incisions on your fish. You can make the lines as little as possible. The reason why we make incisions on our fish is to make sure our spices get right through the fish and taste better. So fam, usually before marinating our fish, it's always good to rub some salt and seasoning cube on it. So let's go ahead and rub that and set it aside while we blend the other spices for our marinade. next thing you want to do is to blend your fresh spices and after blending the fresh spices we're going to be mixing them with the dry spices Our marinade is ready so we're gonna put it on our fish on both sides and even inside on the head make sure the marinade goes everywhere you just want to be generous with that marinade it wasn't made for something else it's for this fish okay <laughs> So fam, go ahead and cover your fish and let it marinate for about 30 minutes to an hour. The next thing we're going to be doing while the fish is marinating is to actually cut the other spices that are going to be like the bed of the fish.
So fam, once we've prepared the spices for the bed of the fish, the next thing you want to do is to prepare the spices for the garnishing. Just slice them in little bits because guess what? A well garnished fish draws everybody's attention. So let's do that. So fam, it's about time our fish has been marinating for about 30 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and put that fish on the bed of the spices and then put the paste, some of the paste on top of it with some olive oil. And then we're gonna put that in our oven toaster for about 30 minutes and then flip the side and then bake it for another 30 minutes. Comment down below what your favorite grilled fish is and tell us the reason why you like it. So fam, our fish is out of the oven, just add some oil before you flip the sides. There we go fam, our fish is ready. Go ahead and transfer that to where you want to serve it. And you could use some of the vegetables that we had used as the bed and garnish with the chopped fresh vegetables. And also you could accompany it with some chili sauce and some plantain or whatsoever you feel like eating it with. Thank you so much family for being with me throughout this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and drop a comment below also don't forget to turn on your post notifications so every time i post a video you will be the first to know take care i'll see you next week god bless you bye